Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, happy Facebook Live, um, happy craft class. I'm Melissa Thomas and I am with C2C Stamping and um, the Facebook algorithms have changed themselves again and all new buttons and all new things are popping up, always fun. So I'm gonna make sure that I can see us over here and I'm going to try to not lose us this week. How does that sound? That's my commitment to us. So let me make sure that we can find us. If you're here, say hello. It's the only way I know you're here. I know a lot of you guys watch. Um, you can, if you're watching later, say you're on the replay. If you're here live, say hello. And if you're watching on YouTube, please leave a comment. I'd love to know that you watch. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so down below. So, all right, I see us. We're here. That's good. Okay, great, super. So this week we are playing with the Fond of Autumn stamp set and dies. And then I think next week I'm going to talk about Cottage Wreath and how cute it is. So I'm going to show some Cottage Wreath product projects next week. But this week we're talking about Fond of Autumn. Super cute stamp set. One of the reasons I like it is because it has both um, some fall looks, but it also has like, thank you, and I'm fond of you, and just a note. Hey, Kathy. So it's really useful for um, non-fall projects. And I'm going to show you the dies and kind of how they coordinate together. So let me rotate this down, and we'll take a look at these projects. And then I'm going to talk about a few things that are still on sale right now in the weekly deals. Oh. Well, that's interesting. It moved the entire screen. What is going on? Oh my. Oh Lord have mercy. Okay, no idea what's happening. Literally every time Facebook does this and it just totally throws me for a loop. Okay, so this is the Fond of Autumn stamp set. Super cute. And um, it has both acorns and leaves and flowers and some berries as well. It has a little independent acorn, a leaf, a flower. It has autumn wishes, but other than autumn wishes, the rest of these are all very, very generic. Um, so we did a really fun event, um, myself and Susan Rutherford, uh, Monday on Labor Day, and we um, designed some cards around the, the stamp set and the dies. So let me show you the dies. I've got them kind of tucked in here. <laughs> when we, um, we had a lot of people and there was a lot of wild stuff going on, and so when we left, things were a little... Things were a little chaotic when we left the, the building, you know? So, all right, so I'm gonna slide this over and I'm gonna show you the dies because they're really cool. So there is several dies in here. So one of the dies is for the banner, right? And that's really nice. One of the dies cuts this as a unit. So it cuts the whole thing out, great. One of them actually cuts it into pieces so that you can layer it. So it cuts out the fall leaves separate from the flowers, separate from the berry pieces, which is kind of cool. This is a detail die, um, and you can add some layering elements and pieces, the flower, the leaf, and the acorn. So pretty cool that it has so much functionality in it. And um, it's a pretty neat stamp set, and it was a lot of fun to play with. I think a lot of people um, hadn't given it a, you know, a second glance, and I think they were excited to, to get to play with it. So I'm going to show you what we worked on. So we used the box and the craft envelopes and note cards set, which is really, really cute. The note cards and envelopes, you get 20 note cards, 20 envelopes, and then you get a really cute box. This is on sale right now as part of, hey Lynn, as part of the weekly deals. And, um, and the weekly deals, there's, um, there's weekly deals right now for 
this week. They expire today on the 7th. And then there's weekly deals that start the, for this next week. But they already preloaded those in. So it's kind of like you get two for one today, which is kind of cool. So the note cards and envelopes, you get 20 of them, plus the box I'll show you for $8, which is a really good deal. Normally it's $10. Um, a few other things that I'll show you today that are on the weekly deals are uh, is the craft paper, which is on sale for $4.80. Um, the linen paper I've been playing with a lot lately, the puff paint, um, the pastels, if you haven't gotten the soft pastels, the craft gift boxes. Um, there's also the really pretty Splendid Day paper that's on sale and the Memories and More, that texture chic Memories and More, and the rose gold paper. Seriously, there's a lot of great stuff on sale right now. So I think right now there's, I don't know how many items there are, but like 12, 14 items. So just check out the weekly deals. Every week they'll be refreshed, um, and the ones from the previous week will go away. So tonight is the last night to get these on sale. So one of the reasons I like the craft note cards is they're really sturdy. They're actually even sturdier than our regular note cards. It definitely requires a good bone fold on the crease to you know, get it to set down. You can of course stamp and decorate the envelopes. They are mailable size, so these can go in the mail, no problem, which is great. And we're going to, I'm gonna show you the box and I'll kind of talk you through what we did. So this is the box itself, and the box is really sturdy. Um, and then we made a little wrap with the um, plaid, the cottage, gingham cottage paper. And it was a tight wrap because this box is just about 12 inches all the way around, maybe 11 inches and three quarters. So it's pretty tight. But what we did was we did the baby wipe technique on here and you can see we've got all the various, you know, colors and then we just layered. So I used that die cut that cuts them all into pieces and we just layered it on top. So I thought that was a really fun look. And again, it's not super fall. It's not super, you know, this could be for any occasion and just die cut the banner and did happy thoughts of you. So the happy thoughts, Thoughts of you is a little bit curved, but when you mount it onto the block, you just have to curve it a little bit more. So I took it and I actually, <laughs> I actually just used the front of the, the case and I said, okay, this is how I want you to go. And I kind of like held it down here and then was able to take my block and, cause it's kind of sticky, you know, cause it's plastic. And so then I was able to get the curve I wanted and then I was able to get my block in. This is not the right size block, but then put my block on. So, hey, Elena. Oh, good. Welcome back. What's the baby wipe technique? Oh, Lynn. Well, then maybe I'll have to show that. So, it's actually pretty easy to show. I have a lot of supplies on my table, but it's easiest. You can do a paper plate. You can do some saran wrap. I like to use our silicone craft mat. And what I do is I get a couple of baby wipes. So I will get a couple out. I like to use about three. And fold them up back into their original form. <laughs> All right, there we go, that's pretty good. Okay, and then we get our reinkers. So for this one, to get these colors, we did soft succulent, petal pink, flirty flamingo, and mint macaron. So I started with petal pink, and I just went ahead and put some on the baby wipe. And then, and you can get multiple, hey, Laura, you can get multiple, um, you know, pieces out of here. And one of the other things that another um, friend has done is she's actually, like you can stamp multiple times. She's done where she does like a rainbow technique, which is kind of cool. And so she'll take and she'll do like yellow, red, you know, she'll do the Roji Biv, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. And um, it's pretty cool to see the, um, 
you know, the rainbow on whatever stamped image you're using. This is more of a modeled effect, so this isn't like, I'm not going for anything in particular. It looks a little diseased, but um, hey, Laura. I hope you had a great time this weekend. I am showing off the baby wipe technique because apparently some people haven't seen it. Um, so let me get this big stamp on here. And hopefully I've got a scrap piece of paper somewhere. Let's see, here we go. All right, so we've got our stamped image or our, you know, our ink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna like squish my pad in here. Gonna squish it down. And I don't do it more times than that because I don't want it to muddy the colors. I want them to come across, you know, pretty, pretty clear and pretty vibrant. And so, and then we're gonna give it a second because it's a photopolymer. I want all the color to come down. I'm so glad you had fun. Oh, nice, that's cute. Nice, so we've got some pretty light pinks, dark pinks, greens, right? And so you can get different effects depending on what you're looking for, but what's cool is that you can get a really fun, it's a fun look and it's different than probably anything else you've done before. So I like the baby wipe technique. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, so I'm going to put this away because this makes a mess. And ask me how I know. All right, so the other technique I wanted to show you guys. So we did a couple other cards. One of the cards we did was this, which uses that peekaboo die. I will say the craft cardstock is really hard to cut. Uh, that wasn't your plan, was it? Very cute. <laughs> um, no, that was my plan. Um, that's exactly what I did for, for this one too. So, um, this one is, it's cute, but the problem with this one is, is that the die has a hard time cutting through the craft cardstock. And so you really have to run it a lot of times or add an extra shim. Um, and so, um, you know, it's, um, it's a little bit challenging, but the finished look, you then just put a piece of cardstock on the back and then you've got this really cute peekaboo die. And then we stamped on the autumn wishes on the little sentiment and we stamped and colored an acorn with the blend markers. So, uh, which one was your favorite, Laura? The baby wipe or the peekaboo? I'm curious. How do I know what, Lynn? Let's find out what you're, what you're thinking about. And then we did this one, which was really fun. Um, so this requires the craft cardstock. So, you know, I showed you that craft cardstock and what we did was we took the craft cardstock. I just cut it into three inch strips, the peekaboo. Oh, that's wild that that was your favorite, Laura. Oh, that's crazy. That's probably my least favorite of all of them. It's so interesting interesting to me, like the differences in everybody, um, how it makes a mess. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, um, I mean, it makes a mess because I, I ended up, I had so much ink under my nails. I looked gross the other day. Um, so what's cool about this is that we're going to basically make our own mask. So we sell mask sets, but when you have a cool die like this, you can actually create your own mask. And so we're going to just lay this mask down and we're gonna grab some of the shimmery embossing paste, which is fun. And I had this out a lot this weekend. It was open a lot. So I'll be curious to see if it actually is still, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's pretty congealed. Um, and then I'm gonna get our palette knife. And you can use whatever palette knife you want to use. Everybody has a preference. There's three different ones in here. And I think everybody likes to work with something a little bit different. But you're just gonna get a gob of this and you're just gonna run it over like peanut butter. But you want a nice thin layer. So this is probably not my favorite peanut butter sandwich just because I like a lot of peanut butter on my sandwich. Um, 
that we're going to. So I wanted to, while I'm doing this, you see I'm scraping the top of it, right? Because I'm trying to get it into the holes, but I'm also trying to make sure that there's not a lot of excess. I don't want a lot of excess. The thinner it is, the quicker it dries. So, oh, it was so simple. That's cool. That's neat to hear. And then we just pull it off and there we go. We've got a really cool image made with our shimmery embossing paste. And you could use this piece if you wanted. I, um, on a card or something. And then the rest of this card is just a little bit of coloring with the blend markers. And, um, and then the sentiment is actually this color is added on using the, um, blending brushes. So you have a sentiment and you stamp it. And what I wanted was I wanted some color, but I didn't want like all the color and I didn't want to stamp it just on a plain piece of like evening evergreen. Cause I thought, well, that might be too dark. So in this case, I just added a little bit of color with evening evergreen on the ends of the banner and it gave it this really nice look. Hey, Darlene. So, Ooh, yeah. The snowflake. Ooh, that would be pretty Laura with the shimmery embossing paste. Yeah. That stuff's gorgeous. Um, I honestly think the shimmery embossing paste is 10 times better than the, the plain, so. All right, so then we have one card, we have two cards, we have the little box, right? And then the last one was my personal favorite. I'm gonna set this over here because I can draw them. So this one required the blending brushes and quite a bit of ink actually. So I used Mango Melody, I used Soft Succulent, and I used Pumpkin Pie, and I think I used a bit of Evening Evergreen. And what we're gonna do is we're going to get our blending brushes. That's pretty pretty juicy it looks like and ready to go. And we're going to add some color on this sheet. So we're just going to take our, I probably need to put the sheet down though. <laughs> Let's not make a ginormous mess on my work surface, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our Mango Melody and we're going to rub our blending brush in there and then we're going to add some of that over here. Now I'm a lefty so I'm going to actually add over here and then I'll rotate it. <laughs> so we're just going to add some Mango Melody onto our sheet and you'll see I'm you know I'm rubbing so that I can create a nice consistent color I'm also starting off my sheet and coming onto my sheet. That'll help as well. And I want this to be pretty dark because we're going to lift the color off of the page. And so we need it to be pretty dark in order to make this technique work. So then, so this was one of the techniques that we learned about at, um, during the World Watercoloring Month. And it's one that I didn't know and was kind of surprised to learn about. And, um, and so it was, it's been a lot of fun to play with it. Okay. And so you see I'm kind of overlapping where the mango melody went, right? And we're gonna close that one up. And then we're gonna get some soft succulent out. Just make sure that doesn't have too much other colors in it. Okay, and then we're gonna add some 
evening evergreen. I think this will make it just a little bit darker. Ah, uh, you would make it dark enough. Yeah, you definitely have to add quite a bit of color, I think, on this in order to make this like lift right. Because the idea behind this is that you're gonna spritz the stamp with water and then you're going to use the water to like lift the color off of the page. And so you do need it, you know, pretty, pretty dark um, in order to get that to work. Now, let's see. So I have all of my supplies near me because I still have not cleaned up from this weekend. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> it's okay, right? It's okay. Someday they'll get cleaned up. Okay, so. So um, I do have a couple of classes this month. I have the Merry Makers, which is our Christmas series that we're doing. And then I also have, so I've spritzed it with water and I'm just gonna hold it down here. And I just did a couple spritzes and hopefully that's enough. If it's not, I can always spray it again and do it again. You don't want so much water that you lose all the detail, but you also Oh, that's cute. Oh, there was some color on here. Uh, my ink, my stamp was dirty. Yeah, that's okay. It'll fade out a little bit. It'll look okay once we cut it. So then once you have the big outline die cut, it kind of draws some definition to these pieces. But over here for sure, you can tell, you know, that. And then this piece, I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on anyway once it dries in a minute. Um, so once this is dry, then I'll stamp the sentiment over here. I'll probably flip it around and, um, and then hopefully it'll cover up the fact that apparently this was a dirty, dirty situation and I didn't clean it well enough. The other class I'm doing this month is with the Glad We're Friends stamp set. If you guys haven't seen that one, that's the one with the cute little corgi and it features the forest Friends, yes. Oh, yes. So it's the Glad We're Friends with the corgi and the kitty and the little guinea pig and super cute class. And it actually features the um, craft card boxes. So not this set, but the other craft. What do they call it? Craft gift boxes. Um, and there's, those are on sale right now as well for $8 and you get, I think 10 of those in a package. So a lot of craft stuff is on sale. I think craft has a really warm look. I think it's really cozy and beautiful for fall and even Christmas. Um, I will show you guys some of the cottage wreath designs next week. Um, so hopefully you come back for that. Um, and, um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed some of this technique time. I know that we, um, you know, there's always a lot going on, um, and you could just simply stamp something, um, and simple stamping is fun and it's awesome and it's amazing. Um, but every once in a while you want to kind of, you know, step it up maybe a little bit. And I think that this, um, set is super cute and a fun way to show off everything that Fond of Autumn has to offer. So hopefully you have enjoyed this and you've learned something, something new. And uh, the other thing we used on all the projects was the seasonal sequins. I have been using these nonstop. They're the cutest sequins ever. I love the white. I love the gold, the green, and the poppy parade. Um, and we used them on all of our projects and it was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, isn't that cool where you lift out the color? And if you use really dark colors, like let's say blues, like Orchid Oasis, you can actually take what you pull off, so what's left on here, and you can stamp it on another sheet of paper, which is really cool, so. Okay, so I'm going to go get George, the new dog, because I promised you guys I would show you the new puppy. So let me go get him. All right, I'm gonna get George. So, 
I'm gonna rotate the camera so that you guys can see Georgie. Whoa. All right, I'll get it. Whoa, George, you're on camera. Whoa, say hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, are you gonna have a nibble? Oh, hello. Oh, he's so cute. This is George, our new doggy. I'm sure you will see lots and lots of pictures of him on our page at some point. He's already decided he likes Stampin' Up! boxes and he's been eating them. Yes, yes you have. And he's super cute, super sweet, cuddle bug. And oh, we're so excited to have him. And uh, I don't think he knows what to think about all the crafting, but uh, yeah, he <laughs> he's gonna be about 40, 45 pounds. He looks like he's gonna be 105 pounds, but he's not gonna be that big. Um, he already is like 19 pounds <laughs> at 14, 15 weeks. So <laughs> he is, uh, he's a bit, he's a, he's a big boy. Yes, you're a big boy. Mm, thank you. Mm, thank you. Okay. Well, on that note, thanks guys for tuning in. Appreciate you so much. Thanks for tuning in week after week. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, he is so fluffy and so sweet and such a troublemaker, by the way. And here he goes. There he goes. Oh, jeez. But I'm so thankful for you guys. And thank you for everything. Um, and I will, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Um, bye, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and, uh, yeah, check out the weekly deals. They're really great this week. Um, today's kind of the magical day where you get last week's weekly deals and next week's weekly deals. So good to know. And, um, and please let me know if you have any questions or anything. Uh, I'm happy to, to answer them. And Glad We're Friends is a current class. It's up on my Facebook page. Um, and you can uh, register there or I'll put the link down below if you're on YouTube. So, um, And then don't forget this month's paper pumpkin is Halloween treat boxes. And they look super, super cute. Purples and oranges, a lot of purple. Um, and I'm really excited about them. Purple's my favorite Halloween color. So, all right. Bye, guys. See you later. Have a wonderful day. Happy hump day.